It's a beautiful, very quiet, early fall morning and the girls are sleeping. Titus is gone for some training in Denver, Colorado. So the girls have been a little bit melancholy these last couple days. I am sorting through some laundry and then I'm going to prep supper so it's super easy tonight. When Titus is playing lands, dinner will be ready and then we will eat and enjoy our evening together. The girls are so excited dad is coming home. I love that fall reminds us to stop, slow down, pause and reflect. It really helps me refocus my attention to what really matters and that is my relationship with the Lord, Titus and the girls. I love these very slow days. There's nothing going on today. We go to church three times a week. We have youth parties. We have birthday parties. And those are all fun and have their place. But to me, nothing beats a slow day in the cottage where it's just the girls and I and Titus. And we are just doing the daily chores, making lunch, making dinner, whatever that day entails. To me, you can't beat a slow fall morning. I'm doing my best to have the cottage completely wiped down. I have a couple more loads of laundry to finish and all my laundry is complete. I love having my laundry current and up to date, washed, folded, and put away. The girls do know how to do laundry completely. However, they're doing school. So when they're doing school, I try to work as much as possible to get everything done and finished. And I definitely want everything wiped down and clean and supper on the stove when Titus walks in the door. It's so nice having the entryway complete, decorated, organized, and I'm hoping my live plants stay alive here in this space. My one plant, I don't know the name of him, but he is growing so well. I take him out sometimes and give him a good water bath and let him just sit in the sun for a bit. And my sister told me she does this with her plants and it kind of just revives them a bit. And that's what I'm doing with this plant. He is just growing so well. I really don't know what to do with him. If you guys have any thoughts or tips, please leave them in the comment below so I know what to do with this plant. Maybe I need to replant him in a bigger planter. Violet loves to be in the kitchen and we buy these little mills as a treat and they enjoy them, especially on a homeschool morning. Violet loves to cook and she's very good in the kitchen and very proficient. I'm making sure the bedroom has clean sheets, wipe down floors, watered plants, and really just the everyday task that one must do to keep a home running smoothly and clean 
I felt like as a homemaker, you really could do this almost all day long to keep a house looking pristine. But today I am just focused on one room at a time. And then in my head, I'm going to mentally shut the door and know that that room is done and ready for Titus to come home. I've been trying to stay away from purchasing candles, especially the ones that are really bad for you. I have been diffusing and I've always diffused, but lately I diffuse every morning. And one of my favorite blends you would say is clove, cinnamon, orange, a touch of frankincense, a little bit of cedarwood and some lavender. And it just makes my whole cottage smells so wonderful the girls love to diffuse as well and I feel like it purifies the air as well it's something I really enjoy doing for fall during my homemaking As I am working in the cottage, I am thinking about the kitchen makeover and what I want to do in there. I am currently saving my money for that space and we like to pay cash for anything we do around the cottage. And I really want to nail down every idea that I have the first go around in the kitchen because kitchens can be so expensive. And I want to be wise with what I do with my money and be wise with my time and not have to go over any ideas that I mess up. And I know that can be difficult, but I am praying about the ideas that I have and I know the Lord will help me. I pray about every space I redo. I honestly pray about everything in my life, even the very smallest of details, because I truly believe the Lord cares about every detail in our life. I thrifted this dresser for the girls' bedroom for $75. It's beautiful and functional, and once we finish the two little hallways in the cottage, I'm going to turn my attention to the girls' bedroom makeover, which won't be expensive at all, so that will be nice and an easy project. I thrifted this beautiful bowl here for $1. And it reminds me of something that Andrea would have from Pine and Prospect Home. It's beautiful, it's simple, and my kitchen obviously is not decorated. I just keep it clean and set out some little fun things to make it a little bit more cheerful in there. But until I get to that makeover, I'm just going to keep adding to my ideas and really thinking about them and mulling over the ideas that I have that I want. I know that I want two big chunky wood beams running straight through the middle of my kitchen. I feel like that will look so English cottage and just absolutely gorgeous.
Titus is home and supper is ready and tomorrow is another beautiful fall morning. But this go around, Titus will be here to help with the girls homeschool and I'm so thankful to have a husband who helps me with the load that I have on my plate and makes my job easier. And I'm thankful for that. I want to thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys on the next video. Two letters that spell a single sound are called a digraph.